Hello world, Shelly here, and today I am going to do an eye look out of the Beauty Bakery, something about Graham, do it for the Graham eyeshadow palette. I got this palette in my February Ipsy box bag, glam bag, you know, the bags are super cute this month. The theme is showing the love. Here is the regular glam bag with a little heart pull on the zipper bag and then the glam bag plus self love is the best love holla yes i'm going to use a few products from my ipsy bags if you're not familiar with ipsy it's a monthly subscription the glam bag is the smaller bag subscription and the glam bag plus is a full size subscription and I have links in the description box below. I am not paid if you use those links. They are not affiliate links. They're there for your convenience. But I love Ipsy and they do send me this box in PR. It's like a sampling of some of the products in each of the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus. So thank you, Ipsy. I appreciate you. I paid for your subscription for many, many years before you discovered who I am. So. Let's talk highlights. I'm not going to use this in this video today, but this was in the Glam Bag Plus. I love this brand, Saturday Skin. This is the Waterfall Glacial Water Cream. I'm all about the hydration, being a dry-skinned girl. Hello, Ziva. So, I'm very excited to get this. I love... This brand has an exfoliating cleanser. It's not a one that has the little granules in it. It's one of those, like... Uh, I can't think of the word, like a peeling exfoliating where you rub it and you kind of get the sensation like all your skin is coming off in the cleanser, but it's really not, but it seems that way and then your skin's baby smooth. I love that. I'm almost out of that one, uh, but I like this brand. So if you haven't tried Saturday Skin, check them out. I'm very happy with them. A couple other things I'm going to check out in my Ipsy. This is a brand new to me, Paranova, the Lunar Lip Balm. As you see, lips totally freaking dry and I love the moon. So, <laughs> well, I don't know, when I saw this, I was like, what, what? Oh, it looks like it's got some tint to it and one of those like moisturizing core kind of a things. Uh, let's just get some on here because my lips, oh, they screaming, ooh. There's some like shimmer in there. What is on my lip? There we go. I don't know about this shade on me, but it feels glorious. Mmm. Oh, that feels good. It's like a cross between a balm and it's slightly more emollient than like a wax balm. Like if you think chapstick, it's more emollient than that. And I like that because, ooh, it just like feels like it's going to sink in the moisture. Not just like put a film over everything and block everything. Like, I'm a fan. That's good. Mmm. Feels nice. The other thing I'm gonna try, we're gonna do this first because I was really excited because they use the word fluff. The Fluff Up Brow Wax from Benefit. You know me and my fluffy brow preference. I will always, until the day I no longer do my brows, credit Mel Thompson for how I do my brows. For many, 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 many months, actually probably a couple years, I studied how she does her brows. <laughs> And mine are not as good as hers were. Rest in peace, Mel. I love you. I miss you. I never knew you, but I felt like I did. So we're going to try this fluff up brow wax because I like fluffing up my brows. And my hands have lotion on them, so I'm having a difficult time opening this. Oh, my. Please hold. All right, that was more difficult than it needed to be. Looks like we have our typical little brow spoolie going on. Let's fluff these brows. I've done nothing to my brows yet. Now what I do every day and every night, when I do my facial moisturizer with my skincare, I run whatever's left through my brows and I brush them this way toward the center of my face to get them to stand up, to kind of like train them into doing what I want them to do. This has like a little bit of a white tint to it when it goes on, but that seems like it's disappearing as the product sets down, which is good. I would not want white on my dark brows. My brows are my natural hair color. My natural hair color is quite 
dark, mousy, boring brown. If this was like, if I had a really good brown, I'd love my hair. But it's like a really uninteresting brown. Who am I kidding? I would dye my hair purple anyway. It doesn't even matter. Well, that looks nice. The question is, will it hold my brows up? Or will they wah wah over time? We'll find out. We will see. We'll know by the end of me putting my eye makeup on because they will fall right down. I got a lot of brow hair. So glad that I made it out of the 90s without plucking all of my brow hairs out. <laughs> I was just a rebel. I didn't want to get into the whole like beauty thing. And so yeah, funny how, funny how it is. All right, let's dig into this palette. So I did take a peek at the color scheme to try and figure out what I might want to do. Want, want, no mirror. Bummer. Uh, Here's the color story that we got going on. Um, this one confuses me a little bit. Uh, I can see probably these top six as all going together. This down here seems a little bit random. There's nothing that goes super dark, but there's also nothing that goes super light. I'm kind of confused as to what I'm gonna use for my inner third of my shadow. I usually use a light shimmer. And the lightest shimmer in here is really the gold, which isn't really where I'm going with. I don't usually I don't usually wear gold on my inner corner, so um, I'm not sure where we're going with this. This might be uh, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I do have to go to work today <laughs> very 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 shortly, <laughs> so. Let's just dig in. Let's just dig in and see where we end up. I'm going to start with my Wayne Goss number three. First, I think I'm going to go into this super light shade just to give me a little setting of my MAC Paint Pot and sort of transition, but it's so light that not really. And because it's a matte, like, I don't feel like this would be what I would use in my inner corner. And it doesn't really have like the kind of payoff it's not supposed to like it's just kind of like a like what I'm using it for is what I feel like these shades are intended for and they work well in that in that role but I, I don't think I could use it for my inner corner on my lid I'm not I'm not sure where we're gonna go with that so I'm gonna take the shade next to it keep the same brush and do this as my transition. These mattes do pick up quite nicely. I'm liking this formula. They pick up and blend. And that's kind of all I want, you know? I don't want a ton of color to pop down. I'm having like flashbacks to the ABH subculture drama. Remember that? How about that one? My subculture palette actually wasn't too bad. I was able to get some nice eye looks out of it, but it was so finicky to use that I never used it again after I made that video. I think I tried one more time just as a recreational use of that palette and uh, I mean I still have it for memories but <laughs> it was uh, oh that was one of the the beauty drama now that like beauty channels are kind of like falling to the wayside I feel like that era of all that drama is it over? Can we just live in happy little peace like all the people that love makeup and just want to do their makeup and have a little happy makeup time? I don't know. Is this the beginning of a peaceful new era? Sigma E25. I see a cat hair on it. I'm going to wipe it off in my little color switch and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I think I'm supposed to go in with this dark shade here. Uh, I don't see anything else dark that I could use in the crease, so let's just do that. I'm doing all the easy stuff first because I don't know what I'm gonna do. Wow, this one's a little heavier handed with the pigmentation. It's okay, it's blending out just fine. So my first impression, I'm pretty sure this is the first Beauty Bakery palette that I'm using. I'm, I don't think I've tried their eyeshadow before. Excuse me, before? I can't breathe. Like, I'm swallowing and choking on my saliva. That's the kind of day we're going to have. I'm filming this uh, on a Monday, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to post it today. I think this is going to be tonight's video. So, uh, 
That means you won't get any fancy editing because I won't have time to send it to the editor. You're just going to get my straight through boring edits that I do myself. So uh, you'll get a same day, same day look at this one. These do blend out nicely. I will say formula seems to be, at least with the mattes so far, the kind that I prefer. This is a little more warm toned than I anticipated from the look in the pan, which makes me a little even more confused about this color. Palettes, um, where is my Wayne Goss 20? Wayne Goss 20. Uh, do I want the Wayne Goss 20 right now? No, let's do I want something a little more firm. I'm going to just go with a flat brush. Let's find... Why can I not find my brush? Alright, I grabbed something. I don't even know what brush this is. We're going to use this one. I want to go in with some of this red on the outer. I want to give some depth and maybe... Oh, that's not really red. That's kind of like terracotta orange. This palette confuses me. The shimmer is beautiful. Like it's a super easy, it looks almost like hard pan. It doesn't look super shimmery in the palette, but it spreads like butter. Like it's a beautiful shimmer. And I like shimmers that spread easily, but still have opacity. That's just not the color I was anticipating. Ziva's tearing up the back of my vanity chair. That's awesome. At some point, you just have to accept that it's their world. I'm just living in it. That's that's just... Who am I to think I have any kind of control here? None. None whatsoever. Very pretty formula. Color is not what I anticipated. I thought this was going to look like this. I thought this was going to be more red. Not the case. And then there's grays and blues in here. Um, all right, I'm going to go on the rest of my lid with this guy here on the, just the other side of that brush. This is darker than I would normally. Well, actually it's not as dark as it looks. Wow, you guys are just witnessing every bit of confusion in my life. Okay, this color scheme is whack. I almost feel like I need to go in with gray to like turn off some of this orange that's happening. Uh, beautiful color, just not what I expected. I am a fan of shadows that, that don't lie. <laughs> So some of my favorite eyeshadows are from Lorac for two reasons. Number one, they almost always look identical on the lid as they do in the pan, which that is a reassuring, comforting kind of a thing. It's, it takes the unpredictability out of it. I want what I'm doing to be what I expect. And number two, they name their shadow colors just so plainly. Like, they're not going to call something like rock and roll or like sexy date. Because what does that mean? They call their colors like red and bronze. <laughs> like, it makes sense. Uh, I don't know if there's one called red, but their names are all very much in line with what the color actually looks like. And it just... I like it. Thank you, Lorac. You don't get talked about enough. I'm actually a little nervous. I haven't seen you around lately. So uh, I need to go look up some Lorac. I feel like I need... They said there were dual chromes in here on the box. All right, I'm finger swatching. This gray one in the corner. Yep, I think this is one of them. And this gray one over here. These two grays. All right, that one's not. But this corner one... Yeah, that's like a gray-brown... Mostly gray. It's that middle finger. It looks cool on my finger. The swatch didn't really do as much. Okay, what? Maybe, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna put some of that in the center of my lid to try and tone down this orange. 
and we'll see. I need to clean off this brush. I'm just gonna get a different brush. Cause that one. All right, this is my alter ego number five. All right, let's. Can we tone this down just a little? It's just too orange. This one, this shade might have been cool all over the lid, actually. Oh, well. I was fooled because it looked gray in the pan. It is at least giving a little cool tone. Kind of looks a little muddy, but, you know, it is what it is. But I'm going to take it all the way into the inner corner. Just a little bit. Because this, this is all way too warm toned for me. I just can't handle all this warmth. Alright, now I need to deepen some things up. Now I'm going to get my Wayne Goss 20. I don't know what I'm going to deepen it with. All we really have is that warm tone brown. I'm going to, this is a shimmer, this gray. I'm going to try to like... Gray and blue and brown, and try to make something dark. Because <laughs> I need to deepen this outer corner. Alright, let's do a little gray by itself. A little blue, a little brown. Blue I'm bringing in to, just to tone down the warmth just a little. little Little blue, little brown, little, 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 little bit. Can we make something wearable out of this? Well, I'm wearing it no matter what, so it is what it is. I think we're going to end up in a place that's tolerable. I know, brown eyeshadow all in this blue pan, because these mattes, they do kick up some, some dust. Not in a bad way. I don't mind that, actually. I don't want a ton of it in the sense that I don't want to waste my eyeshadow, but... Alright, okay. This is, this is working. Now, is this going to be a palette I wear every day of my life? Uh, no. Uh, would I consider this formula in a different color, sh color scheme? Yeah. Yeah, this formula's alright. I can handle this. I think I need something on my lower lash line. This is my wing gust number five. I don't know what shade I'm gonna do. Uh, we're gonna go back to that that matte and just take a little down. Ooh, this is a little too light. I need like a true dark and a true light in every palette. Now here's the thing. Some people are like, oh, just grab another shadow, you know, from a different palette. Uh, that's fine and good, but I'm the person that I buy a palette because I want it to be all in one. Like, I don't want to have to reach through 12. I don't want to dig through my stuff. I want to make a look out of this. And so I'm not the person that goes and grabs a bunch of different palettes to make a look. I, that's why me and single shadows really have never become a thing. I think I'm going to use that gray again. Me and Single Shadows, I have a whole collection of them, and I really thought I would love them, but to me, it ends up being the same kind of thing. It's like, I want something that's been curated all together, and this palette, this one just doesn't feel very cohesive. Like, it doesn't feel like it's been well curated. That's the... The selection of colors don't make a lot of sense to me. And that also could be completely subjective. If they make sense to you, then run with it, my friend. I might regret what I'm about to do. I am not sure if that light shade is light enough to be a brow bone highlight, but I'm going to try a little bit. It's not really a highlight, but it's at least a little definition. All right, my brows are falling down just a little bit. They still look fluffy. I like the f fluff. You know what it reminds me of? When you use like that pomade wax in your hair and it gives like a beautiful 
slept in definition to your hair. Like I think that's what this did to my brows, but I feel like I still need the extra step of the hold to keep them up. So I'm gonna go in over that with my e.l.f. brow lift. The white did go away, so that when it comes out of the package, sort of whitish shade, that did vanish, so that's good. I just gotta not mess up the fluff. All right, that seems to have gone okay. Don't let me forget to put mascara on, you guys. Sometimes when I go out of order like this and I get all like distracted like squirrel and do something else, then I forget. And then I'm driving to work and I'm like, I don't have any mascara on. All right, all right. Now, I have to say, is this gonna knock my, my new favorite lawless brow products off their pedestal that I'm glorifying them on right now? No, it's probably not. I'm still way deep into that lawless love right now. This stuff right here. Hold up. Hold up soft set creamy brow wax. Same idea, but it's tinted. Now, if the benefit comes in shades, because this one's just un uncolored, <laughs> clear, <laughs> duh. Uh, if this comes in shades, it might be similar to this. This has a little bit more hold, though I still do go back in with my brow lift with that as well. There's a brow pencil from Lawless as well that I'm loving. That's not it. That's my eyeshadow stick. I don't know where I put it. Here it is. This one is called the Shape Up Soft Fill Brow Pencil. I didn't do that today, but I've been loving it. I feel like this warmth is a little too harsh. I'm just grabbing. This is my Wang Goss. What is it? It's my 20. No, it's my 03. I'm going to take the color off it real quick. That's... That's a hot mess. And I'm just gonna blend and try and soften this all up a little. It's just, I think it's cause I just don't wear warm tones very often on my eyes. And I see them and I'm like, ah! And I just feel like it's too much. It's too, it's too something. I don't know what it is. Ah, that helped a little bit. All right, we need mascara. Before I forget, oh, let's use the Lawless. I am. I'm enjoying some Lawless. Where is my lash curler? All right. I'm afraid to look at the clock because I'm pretty sure I'm late for leaving for work. <laughs> hey, priorities. My priority is you guys. I have some big news to share with you very, very, very soon. I'm saying this because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna post this tonight. So then I can share my big news probably Wednesday. This is the Cake Pencil from KVD. Uh, I'm excited. We are going to do some things around here. I finally have a version one of my eyeshadow look picker to share with y'all. I will talk about that in detail in the very, very near future. Check out this Lawless. So I talked about this before, but it's got one of those little balls on the end to like grab your inner lashes, but it's smaller and more easily manageable than the other mascaras that have those ball tip wands. You know, all the other ones I thought were very gimmicky and they were the ball was so big all I did was make a giant mess out of my lashes whereas this one is small enough to actually be useful and I love look how thick my lashes look one coat one coat y'all this is also a pokey kind of a wand which is usually not my favorite but however they've made this the distancing of the bristles and the shape of the head of the wand like they've just done a really good job on this one and I'm sure the formula of the mascara itself is lovely all I know is between this and the new Merit mascara I have been loving mascara again and they're the first two high-end mascaras that I've really enjoyed in a long time because I've been on a CoverGirl kick for a couple years now as far as mascara goes. That just looks so nice. It looks so nice.
nice. All right, my latest favorite recommendation from you guys, the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash for my lower lash line. Since I have long lower lashes that like to smudge because they touch my face, uh, this stuff's brilliant. Now my former favorite, and you know, still awesome, is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge. It's a similar type of thing. I use it just on my lower lashes. It's got a nice small wand like this. Uh, but I think I like the MAC wand just a little better. Of course, what did I do? I smudged my smudged myself. It's all good. I think I like this wand a little tiny bit better. Uh, so there's that. This is sinking into my lips and I love that. That's what I want. Let's get this swatch off my hand. I need to wear something on my lips. And... I don't think this is deep enough, this balm in my Ipsy, but you know, I think I'm just going to roll with it because I can't make a decision right now. The only downside is, so I've got some like cracking and the color in this balm is clinging to that loose skin that I need to exfoliate away. Mm, but it feels so good. Mm. All right. Let's get the... I don't have my fancy product now. I just picked this up. I'm going to be so late for work. Sumo Tech Bumble and Bumble. You're supposed to use it when your hair is damp. But I'm just going to grab a tiny bit of it. So I can kind of make the... Make little pieces because I just like the little pieces. This stuff is heavily fragranced. It does smell good, but if you don't like to smell your hair, then you are not gonna like this. That's about all I do to my hair. That's it, that's it, that's it. I am loving this haircut. I'm so glad I chopped it. So glad, so glad, so glad. All right, I think that's it. What do you think? You know, we got there. We got somewhere somewhere doable. I don't understand the theme of this palette. I was expecting neutrals, graham crackers. Uh, love the formula. Not really a fan of this color scheme. But would I try other colors from Beauty Bakery? Yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. There you have it. Check out Ipsy if you are so inclined. Uh, check out these products if you are so inclined. Like this video if you are so inclined. Let me know in the comments. Do you want more eyeshadow looks? What palettes would you like to see? What palettes would you like to see in my eyeshadow look generator app? Let me know down in the comments below. I will tell you guys more about that very, very soon. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.